What's going on YouTube? We're in Stu's very cold garage today. And uh, what I wanted to do is actually give a quick review of the Corvu FX1 wide seats. Um, now I wanna apologize to my regular uh, viewers cause I know a lot of what I'm gonna say. Uh, you guys already saw that on the install video. But um, I've had a little bit of seat time with these seats and I have a little bit of uh, thoughts about them that I wanted to go ahead and share. And um, also I got a chance to sit in a couple of other fixed back seats and compare a little bit. So I just wanna talk about these seats from a comparison standpoint. So um, first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, some other seats. All right, so what we've got here is my eBay seat and I've been using this seat for about a year inside the car. Um, I'll, pretty much everybody who's ever sat in these seats really likes them. Um, I've never had racing seats before. They're pretty comfortable. They're not as comfortable as the OEM seats that come in the Mustang, uh, but the OEM Mustang seats are really comfortable. Um, the reason I got these seats is because they had the cutouts for the seat belts. Um, I was installing harnesses. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't really have bothered upgrading the seats. But anyways, um, I'm trying to keep this non-Mustang oriented because the, these uh, fixed back seats can go in any car. So anyways, I installed these seats. They are very comfortable. Um, everybody who sat in them has usually liked them. Uh, they always want to know what brand they are so they can go buy their own. So these seats have gotten multiple good reviews from a lot of people. Um, I wanted to get rid of them because they're not fixed backs. Um, I just wanted fixed back seats pretty much. And um, one of the drawbacks to these seats is they do fade really easily in the sun. Uh, that's the passenger side seat. And as you can see, it's got harness marks on it. Um, the material that they're made of is really cool. It's like Alcantara. Uh, these are, you know, a really nice seat. Um, and like I said, I just took them out because I wanted fixed back seats. Um, what we have here is actually a spare seat that I have. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, this is the Bride Lomax seat. Um, and pretty much this seat is designed to sit lower inside your car. Um, it's not going in the Mustang. It needs a little bit of TLC, as you can see. I think I'm going to fix it up, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it quite yet. But anyways, uh, sitting in the Bride Lomax is pretty much like uh, a lot of uh, fixed back seats that I've been in. The uh, the waist area, so first of all, my size, uh, I'm a 32 waist, I'm about 5'9 and a half tall, and um, so that's pretty much, I'm, pr I'm pretty much your average size guy. Um, so anyways, uh, sitting in this seat, um, it's very tight to the waist, and the shoulders are actually pretty comfortable. In the eBay seat, uh, this seat pushes your shoulders forward. Um, my shoulders, I uh, wear a size 42 jacket, so... This seat right here is not too comfortable on the so on the shoulders. I also sat in a Sparco Sprint seat, I think it is, yesterday. And uh, the Sparco, uh, I didn't like it at all. It's very, very narrow in the shoulder space. Um, I don't even think it came out on the sides like this one does. Um, even though the cushioning on the pad on the Sparco was awesome, the shoulder area was not good. Uh, so not so good on the shoulder area, halfway decent on the shoulder area. Um, and the reason I'm showing you these seats is for comparison purposes real quick before we get to the Corbu seats. All right, so if I go ahead and sit down in this seat, I want you to kind of see how the waist is. These seats are very close to the waist. Uh, you know, you can't really stick your hand down in there. Uh, they don't squeeze you, but they're very tight. They're very snug. And a lot of people want that for racing. But you can't scoot back and forth in these seats at all. Uh, but there is going to be enough space for you to run your seat belt up and through. It's a very snug fit. So that brings us to the Corbos. So let's go ahead and grab a seat. Um, now, like I said, these are the Corbo FX1 wide seats, which is the largest seat that you can get from Corbo. If you read the specs they have online, I think these seats are rated for somebody with like up to a 46 inch waist, which um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. But um, these seats are actually more narrow than the eBay seats. So the eBay seats actually touched right here to my um, roll bar and to the console. And as you can see, these are actually more narrow. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and show you. Uh, actually, before I hop in, um, this seat actually has four posts down at the bottom underneath where you can mount a standard seat rail. And it also has side posts where you can mount a um, side mount uh, seat rail. And then there's also the support there in the back that you can kind of see right there if you don't have a roll bar and you're doing something that requires a extra seat support. So those are the features of the seat. 
Um, it's got the hole through the bottom there that you can mount a five point or a six point harness. The seat cushions pop out really easily for cleaning or for other purposes. So this cushion pops out, this cushion pops out very easy. Um, and that's important for something I'll show you in a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the seat now and show you a couple of things. So initially, um, when you try out one of these seats, if you go to look at one or something, it's probably gonna be sitting flat on the floor. And when this seat is sitting flat on the ground, it's pretty uncomfortable. The, uh, the back of the seat is pretty upright. When you actually get it mounted inside a car, it's tilted back a little bit and it makes the seating position actually really nice. So um, I'm actually really, I'm extremely comfortable right now in this seat just sitting here, um, driver position wise. It's very, very comfortable around the shoulders. This is the most comfortable shoulder position seat that I've had. They're very wide in the shoulders and they still do cradle and support your body well. Um, if you look down here in the waist area, you can see that I have like maybe like a two finger gap on this side. I'm actually touching on this side, but I do have a little bit of wiggle room here in between the seats. So even though they're super wide and they're supposed to fit a really large person, my 32 inch waist is actually a good fit in here without it squeezing my sides. So if I'm driving and I do drive this car a lot, you know, if I feel like shifting my weight, I can still shift my weight in these seats and, uh, and I don't feel like I'm about to fall out of them. So I would definitely recommend the wide. I have sat in the non-wide version of, of these seats and it does fit very snug on the waist like the uh, bride seat that I just showed you. So um, that's that on the fitment of the seat, uh, the shape and uh, pretty much how the seat fits your body. Now, the huge drawback with this seat is these cushions are rock hard. Um, honestly, <laughs> after 10 minutes of driving, you're gonna wanna question yourself as to why you bought these seats. Um, besides that, that's my only gripe. These cushions can be modified or changed, so that's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. And especially after having tried other seats, I would absolutely 100% still buy these seats again. I really like them. Um, they're made out of quality materials. Um, they have areas here that are reinforced for uh, you know to keep from from getting worn out when you get in and out of the car and on the shoulders. Um, these are a really comfortable seat. Um, as you can see here behind my head, you know, I can lean my head back in a natural position. It's not pushing my head forwards. It is also still comfortable when I'm wearing a helmet. Um, the other drawback to this seat is, uh, it's a little bit tall. So if you can see my headroom, uh, that's like two fingers right there. And when I have a helmet on, I barely have enough room to put my finger through. And that's using the aftermarket seat rails. So what I'm actually gonna end up doing with these seats is making my own seat rail. Hopefully it'll get this thing to drop at least an inch, maybe two inches. Um, and I think, again, that's just due to the upright positioning of this seat. It's uh, it's pushing my head closer to the ceiling and I just don't want my head that close to the ceiling. Um, besides that, um, I don't really have too much else to say, um, but these seats definitely get a thumbs up. They're very reasonably priced. I think you can get these things brand new for under $700 shipped. Um, some of the other high-end seats that you see are gonna go for way more money. They might be a little bit more comfortable, maybe not, I don't know. But I know that this is probably the best fitting um, fixed back seat that I've ever been in. And besides these rock hard cushions that can be easily changed out, um, I don't really have too many other gripes. So. Um, Thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you out with your purchase of seats and catch me again next time. See ya.